what's going on guys today um we are at carolyn's my first time however this beast right here is closed unfortunately because there was a structural issue that was known by a guest a couple weeks ago there's a crack in the support beam and i'm actually standing i believe right where the guest was able to catch it it is they're doing some welding on it it's right there not too happy to see this of course but there are some workers here so they are trying to get it fixed going during our visit today i very seriously doubt it i, I there's a lot of testing they gotta do also and uh yeah but i did hear that they're getting a new support beam in this week which means i think it should open tail end of august is my guess or honestly honestly a scare wins reopening wouldn't really surprise me either but uh yeah it's uh interesting to see i suppose yeah it's only a good day without this though but no fury definitely you can actually hear him doing some work on it, I think. Yeah, no fury is definitely a big blow, but there's that crack right there. Oh, ow. filmed in a while but got a ride on intimidator kitty hawk and we did nighthawk just now stick to my thoughts on the intimidator lot better than i thought it was gonna be weak being i'm hyper my ass got some pretty strong flutter on that really enjoyed it don't know it's diamond back good but i have no follow in nitro for sure kitty hawk strange suck wasn't as bad as i thought it was, thought it was gonna be but one and done kitty crit nighthawk though very underrated we were assigned front row it wasn't smooth it was it really wasn't that bad it's disorienting for sure but it's a, it's a rare credit i got it and i really enjoyed it course screws at the end weren't even bad at all yeah definitely not as bad as people may out be we did get stuck on the brake run for about five ten minutes with a puke clean up though which was pretty sucky but yeah i really love nighthawk now we're about to do copperhead strike and uh you know i think lock rooms are required in this sadly but yeah see you guys probably after that Now I'm gonna put to this cute for Copperhead Strike. I just got off my first ever ride on it in the back row. Really enjoyed it. It's not too intense, but it's super fun. The JoJo roll was probably better than Hydra's, and the vertical loop, the air time, the hang time, the vertical loop really caught me off guard. Really enjoyed it. Really solid meant for this park. Oh, there it goes. And this is where they walk on the go front now. Line's even pretty cool too. Yeah, this is what a dead line of copperhead looks like. Buckle your own seatbelt. Oh, 
So uh, I haven't vlogged in a while, but Matt, what are we doing now? Uh, Carolina Cyclone. Yeah, this will be both of our first times on this, actually. And um, it's been a while since I vlogged, but I did do two rides in Afterburn. I can confirm it's my new favorite invert. That battling element is freaking lethal. Like, it's just as good as Raptor's Cold Roll. Oh my god, this is empty. What in the world? They put away for front. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm not really the forward to that much. Maybe we'll get two credit. Okay. We'll see you guys probably after. So, it's been a while since I filmed, but I've done, gotten quite a ton done since. Got a. Uh, Brian Carroll last night, one was not a fan of it. It was quite rough. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan of it. Uh, the Ricochet after that, worse than Dark Knight, not as bad as Gauntlet, but transitions were not good. And the lap bar actually slammed my spine pretty hard at the end. Yeah, wasn't pleasant. Uh, what I do after that? Two rides in two nerves, you did my new fear BM Hyper. I haven't run Diamondback. Granted, I haven't ridden Gladiator Georgia yet, but I do have it as my number one BM Hyper now. Uh, definitely defeats Paul and definitely beats my definitely defeats Sancho by a lot. And then. After that, uh, didn't our ride at Nighthawk in row three. It was fun. Front row ride was better. Definitely gets way too much hate. But uh, yeah, then we did a ride at Windseeker. I think now doing a couple flats and then probably head out of here. We're going to say it's all closing, but with how hot it is, how well, you know, we got a long day ahead of us tomorrow heading to Pigeon Forge, probably doing stuff down there. No fury. It's really not worth it. We're actually going to do a second day here because of the Fury incident. We scrapped that. There's doing stuff in Pigeon Forge tomorrow, but it takes about four hours or a little more than that to get there. So, yeah. So, I'm going to cut today's little story, which is fine. Park really hit the same without Fury anyway. Okay, what a sight this is. We are outside of Fury 325. Of course, it's closed because of the structural issue. We've got to talk with a lot of the copyright music, but I'm going to do what I can. But, uh,. Yeah, that's the station, that's the queue line, that's the gift shop, I want to say. Yeah, sad, sad sight. Ten, perhaps one to come here. Not open. Might be the last time for a while. Yeah, it only gives me a new return, but that is a big blow. I think from the parking lot, I was actually able to see footage of the, of the support structure that cracked. And they had cranes on site. I was able to see from the tomb so that's a sign they're hard at work. But no way it's opening today. I'd be surprised if it opens in less than a month from now. I'll we'll have to see though. Yeah, that's that's the queue line. Yeah. Uh, what a sight this is. Not a happy one at that. Yeah. Okay, I don't know how well the camera can spot it, but there is a drone right by the sports structure of Fury. So, uh, yeah, it's probably not being open. At least we get to see the progress in person. I don't know how the camera's capturing this, but this is literally the most it can zoom in. I wonder if the drone's here just to see the progress of Yeah, you can see it. There is a drone right here. So we're leaving Carowinds now. We decided not to take closing, mostly because no fury. No fury, and it's really hot out too. Yeah, Holy it hit wee. like 95 or 96, I want to say. Yeah, it was pretty brutal. But uh, I think this is the best day we could have had without fury. You know, we got a lot of rides in. Park was empty. I believe it was five on Intimidator, three on Afterburn for me, five on Copperhead, and then one on Prince Javier Coaster, along with, I believe, it's Electro Spin, Drop Tower, Enterprise, uh, whatever Enterprise is called, I think Scream Waver. And I believe that might have been it, but it, the only coaster we did not get on was Wilderness Front. So you need a kid to ride that. But oh, explain what we just saw at Intimidator. So we were going for our last ride. We were at Intimidator um, for our last ride. We saw these group of kids that were like, I think they were just having fun, just like, uh, you know, having fun with friends, mess around, you know, play fight and everything like that. But randomly out of nowhere, I saw them just like, fight in the station while everybody was trying to get on Intimidator. And yes, I understand that people like to horseplay, but that's not the right place to do it. Yeah, no. Like... Not in any public place. Ooh. It even got, like, physical for a brief few seconds. Yeah. Was, um... Reminded me of being in my home park, which is not good. So, uh... <laughs> yeah. 
overall decent day. Park felt very lacking without Fury, not gonna lie. One reason to come back. But we definitely made the best of it, I think. You know, yeah, I don't know when I'll be back. It's probably gonna be a while. But yeah. So, pretty much it. So.